Hello! Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy again. We are gonna waste no time today. I, as usual, always forget what quests we're on. Okay. Oh! Okay, I remember. We were going to go talk to Natty at the end and we got distracted by a side quest. So we're gonna go talk to Natty right now. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so cool! <sighs> I have not been in here since it changed over to winter. Okay, let's see how this goes. I don't have a good feeling. To speak with you. Is it good news or bad news? I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. Oh. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, oh. have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Uh. <sighs> I, um, I feel like her concern is warranted just because it's her daughter. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. About time. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful Ooh. day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take He it. could become the most majestic giraffe. Giraffe! He would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. Oh. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your I don't... Fault? How so? He died protecting me. That's if I had not... been capable of protecting myself... He would still be alive today. You were a My child. I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. No, oh, that's so sad. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. Uh, the, to a point, um, some of the things you've gotten involved in, I'm like, okay, y'all, what? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Well, she is your mom, so I... Uh, I feel like if she was like, yes, go out into danger, that'd be like, okay. <laughs> Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Aww. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, 
we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. At what cost, though? <laughs> Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. How am I not getting in trouble, though? Like, okay. Okay, next up. I kind of want to do the broom one. I feel like we do the broom, and then we go speak to Professor Fig. I feel like this game's taking me in circles. I've been flying forever. And it keeps cutting me off. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, I don't- it's not letting me land. I don't know how to get in there. So, maybe I just can't go in yet? In that case, I think we might just have to go talk to Fig. So, I kind of just wasted a whole bunch of time and flew for ages for nothing. Eventually, I will go back and make my way to Imelda in that little locked area. But I just- I didn't feel like continuing the trek. <laughs> oh! No way there's a demiguise in here. What? Okay, let's wait. I'm very curious how this is gonna go. Hey. I hope I- Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgog knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They yeah. encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? <laughs> it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just oh. the thing, a polyjuice potion. <gasps> you'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So, how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change Wait. into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on <gasps> his behalf. Take now, what? Time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh. Uh, imagine at the end of this, Fig is like the evil one. He's like, oh. Ew, I did not like that. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. Ew. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As eh. we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. <laughs> Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Oh Thank boy. You, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. This is so weird. Okay. I don't know. This is not what I anticipated happening on it. Well. <laughs> Funky. Hey guys, Professor, have you. A moment of your time, please. Oh Professor. no. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? 
I did. Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I did it all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> oh my god, can I get myself caught? I'm um, oh, this is probably a bad idea. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. I... Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Girl, why are we... All that a shine on those boots. What Do the... better. What is happening? Stop talking. The headmaster approaching. Oh my gosh, should I talk to him? <laughs> Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Mood. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. Ah. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. <gasps> Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potion. Oh my god. Oh, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. Oh my god. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh. Okay. One for my diary. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't talk to anybody else. I might end up causing some trouble. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to Kagawa. Ask about Scrope. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. What? Headmaster, here. What could he want? Chewing with your mouth open. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> A word? Yes. Professor Black, again, it is <laughs> too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. Oh my god, yes. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say not some sense to them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What? Oh, nonsense. Th th that you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. <gasps> you are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Yes, do it. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. <laughs> Where is my elf? <laughs> Parchment. Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. I am causing a ruckus. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? <laughs> okay, honestly, though, like, true. When I don't I know. What passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I... Simply mourn for the future of the world. <laughs> Why are we talking so much? We're gonna give it away. He's gonna be like, mm, something's not right. Don't worry. I said I wouldn't talk to anybody else. Hello? <laughs> you must speak with me. Consult my secretaries or what have you. Professor, I need to speak to you. Goodness gracious. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. What is going on behind? I'm a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. Hey, now. He's rarely here as it is. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, well, yes. 
He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems <gasps> to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything uh -oh. from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> it's... it's... <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, what? I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But <laughs> I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Um... Uh, this wonderful job, leeway for Professor Fig. <laughs> I shall never understand that man. <laughs> I am that being so obvious. Some breathing room? No, it won't. <laughs> Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Hi. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even master himself. Oh no. <sighs> How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. What's that? Right. Of course. I, uh. Master does remember it. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, I googled it because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> it's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> Toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, oh. Rubbish. <laughs> Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Oh. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Oh, what? 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 What do you mean? What do you mean it's wearing off? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm scared. Am I out of sight yet? Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Oh no. Imagine. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. That was a little scary. Okay. I have a sneaky suspicion something is gonna go wrong when I go to do this. Like, I don't know, I just have a sneaky suspicion that he's gonna like show up and like Fig wasn't actually able to keep him occupied. Or he's gonna get suspicious and be like, meh, 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 meh. Jeez Louise, how far away is this? I don't think I've ever been up here before. His office is up in Timbuktu. <gasps> okay, okay, I found a secret. Um, Professor Hecate, as discussed, I have corresponded with my goblin acquaintances at Gringotts. All have condemned Ranrock's actions and some have privately considered that his motives may not be what they seem. From what I've heard of his treatment towards others of his own kind, those who refuse to join his ranks, I am inclined to agree with our friends at the bank. I will let you know what more I hear. Suffice to say, that's for now. Uh, we must remain vigilant. I don't really know what that means, but... Sure. What is this? What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> the gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Yes. Tous your pure. We did it. I am so nervous. 
Can I not go in here? Apparently not. Okay, I'm scared. It's good to see you. Hi. Thanks to Professor Fix, quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Okay. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Apparently. Apothecary receipt, cure for boils. One vial. <laughs> oh, there's another note. Receipt, hair tonic, mustache wax, bundaman pomade, comb, pearl handled, black, <laughs> back scratcher, gold handled. Okay. Paid in very small part. <laughs> okay. I feel like we should not test our luck by taking forever. He's probably gonna walk in during this, huh? Oh, 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 I'm in a book. I got sucked into a book. Oh. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? Ew. I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. What? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. I look creepy. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Huh? The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What? 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 What do you mean? I need a cloak. How do I get a cloak? There's people up there. I feel like it has to be back here. Ah! There's nothing there. How am I supposed to get through it? What? <gasps> Shut up. What is happening? Oh, I was about to say, like, why is it taking so long? Can I- oh, I cannot. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, where are you looking? Ah! Ah, ah, I did not like that. That was scary. This looks sick. Oh, I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. What is happening? I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I'm scared. Oh. Can I? What do I do? Are can they see me? <laughs> I need to time this just right. I don't know how. Hold on. Okay, I. F what is he doing? Why is he looking like that? Okay, so he goes that way and then he goes that way i feel like i should have gone so he turns and he goes over there is he gonna go but now i feel like he's gonna yeah uh-huh i figured okay so i'm in a bit of a predicament <laughs> um 
Because he just stays right there. Like, he doesn't go... Yeah, he goes right in the middle. I don't think I have to worry about any of the others. I think it's literally just these two. I'm gonna go, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Walk faster. Why don't you walk so fast? <sighs> okay, I think I made it. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Where? Oh, right there. Wait, hold on. Is that it? Do I go down? I think so, I must. Okay, hold on. What is there? So he goes... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Stands right in the middle. The other two are not moving? As far as I can tell. So as soon as he starts moving, I go. Okay, go now. Go, 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 go. Please tell me I went the right spot. I'm in water. Does he see me? Oh my god. That was terrifying. It looked cool, but that was scary. Who are you? Can I talk to you? No, okay. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. What's happening? Oh, snap. Let me move! Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please just get up. Okay, so I assume I go over here. Oh my god, I hate this. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Where do I go? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this a lot. Okay, so there's you right there. Do you move? No. Where do I? I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. In there? That seems wrong. Hold on. Why do I feel like I'm blind? Can I go? Because none of them are moving. I'm just going to go for it. <gasps> Shoot. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, right here. Oh my god. That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. Uh-huh. Girl, move! Move! Please move. Oh, uh, this is so stressful. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh no. Okay. Did I do it? Nothing this way but danger. another way to find you. I don't know. I need to turn back. There's no What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Okay. I'm in. Oh no, they're giving me wig and will. That's not a good thing. Oh my god, I'm so unbelievably nervous. Oh. Where do you go? Oh my god, there's two. Oh, I don't know what just happened with my cape. How do I do this? Now's my chance. What do you mean? What do you mean now's your chance? 
to do what? Please do not turn around. Please, 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 whatever you do, do not turn around. Oh. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> Hello? Am I almost done? That's the way forward. Am I good? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I got a cloak. Okay. Bet. Can this be? I think I'm <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, I have an invisibility cloak! Does that mean I'm like I have this now? Am I safe? Can I just go? They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Bet. Sick. Okay. So I gotta go through here. And I go this way. This is the way forward. You're finally free. You're telling me he didn't see me. Where are you, Neve? I don't know. Why did I take that off? Why did I take that off? What am I doing? Hello? Okay. Girl? Hello? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, oh. but this time you will be unable to hide. No. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary <gasps> power. I get a wand. Is this a cool wand? Mysterious wand. Oh. Mm. It looked cool. I like how it looks. Can this be my wand now? Yes, no, maybe so. What do I have to do? I've never felt such power. So, am I supposed to. F Hello? Where do I go? Oh, probably here. Aha! Okay, that destroyed a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> what? Cool. I really hope there's no secrets to find in here because I have not been doing that. So... Okay, what am I gonna have to fight, y'all? Someone's crying and screaming. What's happening? Bye! I'm on edge. Is it gonna be the big guy? I think it's just littles. Oh. You're telling me? Oops. I can destroy them in one shot with that? <laughs> that is insane. Please tell me I get to keep this wand because that was magnificent. Ew, there's dead things. Okay. Wow. I'm assuming this is gonna end with me having to fight the big death guy, right? Oh. And then you go. Ow. Back up, you dumb dog. Done. Are y'all gone? Am I good? Okay. If I get to keep this wand, I think I might be unstoppable. Okay, this looks like another fight. Come on, y'all. Oh, is this the big dude? It's the big dude. This is scary. Hey. Um, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Ah! 
this is taking a lot more effort than I expected. Oh my god. Can I just leave? Oh my god, there- There's two? Get rid of this one. Oh. oh my god, okay. Okay, one of them's done. Okay. I- Okay, this is unfair. Am I done now? <sighs> Can I be done, bro? I feel like I have done enough. Please. Whew. That felt like it was never ending. It wasn't hard. That was actually probably one of the easiest quote unquote boss fights we've had. But that took a long time. So do I not have to fight him himself? Hmm. Is she gonna be here this time? Oh. Okay, what's next? I'm scared. A simple stone. This must be for me. Oh. What what kind of stone are we talking? Is this the stone? Mysterious stone. Okay. <laughs> you are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Excuse me? Oh, I just have it in my hand. What do you mean? What? Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. They think she's dead? Let is she dead? Her what are you saying? Be the same her. What is happening? What kind of lore is this? Oh, hey. Right. D mm. What's happening? What am I supposed to do? Is this her? You found me, oh. but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. I'm sorry. Um. Witness your memory. Okay. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Okay, I get that. So is this the end of it? If so, girl, Remember you have that as you witness my memory. You have one of the easiest trials. I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay, is that all? Do I just do I do it? <laughs> okay. I'm intrigued. What is this gonna be? Gotta watch the tear fall. I look so creepy. <laughs> Ooh. It looks so cool in this art style. Dunking my head in. Isadora, what you did for your father was... Remarkable, <gasps> wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. 
It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow. Um. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Arnia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. She just totally did it without even asking. That's weird. Ew. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of it. That was so weird. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. Yeah. I choose to embrace it. Because you're weird. You're going psycho. Uh oh. What? Well then. That was... Interesting. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to go back through the headmaster's office. I'm like, oh boy. Hey, Fig. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I was disturbing. <laughs> I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. As usual. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganac? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Uh-oh. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, are we good? I am assume so. Okay, well, honestly, let's take a little gander. So, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and end it here, I think. I'm assuming, as usual, they're going to start talking to us in a second. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? It was Sebastian, y'all. Professor Weasley, where are you? Well, anyways, we'll look at all that next time. Um, this is a very weird angle, but 
this trial was actually kind of funky. I was, I was into that. It was kind of creepy, but it looked really cool. So I'm not mad about it. Um, that spookiness was better than the haunted house thing we had a couple episodes ago. But yeah, anyways, we're going to leave it here. We made our way through the main quest again. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!